We continue, Dear Shu Mishnah Bura, we're continuing Simin Mem Beis. Today we're going to learn Sif Beis, and as well we'll start Sif Gimel. So says the Machaber in Sif Beis, in Hisna Aleya Metchila, we're continuing the discussion whether there is an ability to change from Shalyat to Shalraish. We learned many times that the Kedusha, the sanctity of the Shalraish, is higher than the Shalyat, one of the reasons being that it has two of the letters of the Shem Hashem, the Shem and the Dalid, whereas the Shalyat only has the Yud. So says the Machaber today in Sif Beis, what if you made a Tanai, you made a condition originally, then... If you made a condition, and even if you already wore them, you already wore one and shall yad, wore one and shall rosh, still you're able to change it. You're even allowed to change it from shall rosh, lishel, yad, to a shall yad. And of course, here the chiddush being that we just finished explaining that shall rosh is a higher level of kedusha. But if you made a tenai, we see the power of a tenai, a power of a condition, that you yes be able to change it. So says Mr. Buran Sivkatan Khas Mitzhila, when did you make this tenai be isa siyas a shall rush? When you created and made the shall rush, I feel him layis na rakim meet starik last venu shall yadi shiyasa. Even if there was a a, a a tenai that if I need to use it, I'm gonna use it. Mahani tonight, such a tonight helps. The Kol Shekin, and certainly in Mo'aymer, if he says, She'eno Yo'ay says, certainly if you said that I'm not making Shal Ra'ish Ela Lefi Shad the Mahani, and certainly if you said I'm only making it a Shal Ra'ish for one usage, etc., certainly it helps. But the novelty, the Chiddush of the Mishtaburah being that it would even work if you made a condition saying, if I need to change it, that as well would work. And we continue with Sif Gimel that the Machaber says, Sudur da Azmane Lemeit Beit Tvilin. A handkerchief, literally, that you created to wrap up the tefillin la'ilam forever, v'tzar bey, tefillin, chad zimna, and then you use them to wrap up the tefillin one time, asr la'meitza bey zuzi, you're no longer able to use that for money. So go back and let's see the mishabur over here, and of course this will have a lot of relevance in all of our tefillin bags, whether we'll be allowed to put other items inside of it, etc., so says the Mishnah Bruah and Sifkat and Das Sudra handkerchief who had dinner masa kiss me chadosh l'tzar tefillin says Mishnah Bruah it's not only a handkerchief it's even if you made a bag a new bag for the sake of tefillin gamkin in asl l'shtamish b'chol also you're not forbidden to use it for mundane purposes ad t'tzar be until you actually use it so the fact that you created a tefillin bag is not the detail that's necessary so you actually had to use it one time the azman alam milsi. We bask in that the creation, the designation, is not enough to give it the sanctity, but rather its actual usage. Says by all items, even a bag for a safer tire, a cover, etc., it's only once it's actually used, that's when the sanctity comes upon it, but not to the mere creation and designation. And the secondary has no Kedusha, which for just to give simplistic example would be the Talus bag. As we've seen many times, the Talus itself does not have any inherent Kedusha. And therefore, the bag that holds the Talus will not have any Kedusha. And we continue with Mishnah Burus of Katan Yod, which he says, if it's designated to Azmei, I feel a bit deeper of hot, even if you did it, only with words, the Kolshkin of Nalav Amr, as they yell, it's filling the Mahani. And certainly, if you said they should be for my Tfilin, it's going to help. Ain't bear Allah, which got the shame around. Tfilin, if God in your help, the Mishmur of a Tik shall tell us, like we just explained. Loy Mikri Tashmish Kedusha, Rak Tashmish Mitzvah. It's called the Tashmish, the function of a Mitzvah, Chemutla Nirvah, Shard of Rayarim Shalchol. So, therefore, in your Tfilin bag is what we're discussing that you can't put money in, etc. But in the Talus bag, you would, yes, be able to. Continues Mishnah Bura Da'af the Munach Bo Gamki and Tikshal Tfilin. Says Mishnah Bura one second. In your Talus bag, it's housing your Tfilin bag. Still, Aviyah Tikshal Talus Kim Tashvit the Tashvit. Still, it's going to be called the secondary usage. And like the Mishnah Bura just taught us, that does not impart Kedusha. Va'afilu Nitin Bezochu Asidah Shalom. Tishvay Kedusha. Let's see you put your Siddur directly into the Talus bag, which has Kedusha. Oit Tfilin Belai Tik. Let's see you put your Tfilin without a bag. Mikol Makam Beisat Tzayrech Motor Litim Betoichel Tvarim Shalcha. You're allowed to use it for regular mundane purposes. To Allah, he wasn't mitchil gam the talus because it was created originally for the mundane usage of a talus. You davar shalchal v'avikilu is that as if he made it tonight. Will come on ba'agos. There'll not be a problem. And he concludes this Mishnah Bura voice in Anashim Alchem B'Derech Mishanshim B'Sag Shal Tefillin B'Dvarim Shal Chol. People that go on the road and they use their Tefillin back for mundane purposes. After Medina Asa says Mishnah Bura, it's not allowed like we're learning today. Afal Pekin Yishlim Aleim Schos says Mishnah Bura. I'll tell you Alim Schos for them. They keep in the Regilim Mekach. 
since they do it all the time, it's not the appropriate thing to do. So if one does use their tefillin bag for other items, says Mishnah Bura, it's not such a big deal because if you made a tenai, but you should not do it. And maybe perhaps a contemporary example would be if someone has only tefillin, they cannot put, for example, a mirror inside their tefillin bag. And furthermore, an example would be a single, well, I, I shouldn't jump the gun, but all the machaber here, we'll see the Ramon in a moment, but according to the machaber, if someone has a tefillin bag, you can't put a sitter in it. You can't put anything inside of it. But of course, in a moment, we'll see the Ramah, in which the Ramah is going to teach us that this is not so simple. So let's get there. Only if you said it explicitly. Just creation in general is not enough. Keep this time. So there ain't much left filling because a regular handkerchief is not for filling. I'm a different. I grab it. You remash this time. I have a kill item. The kind mash with a yes. But let me and I'm a chaver. But the lechad is not a law. He rak lo fishav lo elam. The machaber has only come to exclude a case in which he said explicitly that it should not be forever. The master kiss on your tefillin. I show him our luuman. I said the kiss on tefillin. Kli alma v'istama kli elam. That's the way it's going to be forever. And once you have that first usage, it's going to be that way forever. V'tzar bei says mishmur is a kadi. The gemel calls up a sudar a kiss alai. This is an handkerchief or a bag for the tefillin. I'm lameid on the mo. He said darvin shenu shalai. It's only if it's your own item, but if it's someone else's, you cannot make it into the level of kedusha. I'll make other things also. LMK, and unless as we turn over, says Mr. Bura, LMK, and Ganav Begit, if you stole a garment of a chatach of Asim and kiss, and you cut it up, and you made a uh, bag out of it, then the mere fact, we know Geneva itself is not a Kenyan. But if you stole something, and then you changed the item, so over here you stole a garment, and then you created it into a bag, that would, yes, be a Kenyan, it would be an acquisition, and then it would have the sanctity of a tefillin bag. The cotton just are by tefillin bag kids. Let's say a cotton, a child wrapped a tefillin in a bag. She's mina lekachi designated it for that. Gamki neser also makes it forbidden. Avol davar and neser basmana lechotz and that makes it aser with a mere designation. Kmoshi is brought lo miser basmana cotton. A child will not be able to do that. The cotton yishlo ma'isa bein the machshava. But filu gila machshavta be diburam is not going to be enough. And the machaber said, even using it one time, chad zimna one time. Says Mishabur Zev Kadin Yudalit Avshay Yerak Lefisha Duder Charei. Even though it was temporary, Kivan Shaya Bistama, since that was the way that it was created, Misrin on a Maislas Mana, we combine the action with the designation. Avol says Mishabur and Pirish Beisah Nacha Du Al Menas Lefan Oisai. Let's say the first time you put your tefillin in the bag, you said, "I'm doing this on condition to remove them." Then Shari Lishanju Achol Akach, you would be yes allowed to use it for mundane purposes. It would not. Maintain and obtain the sanctity from one usage if you had a mind to take it out. If you made it for tefillin and you used it for tefillin one time, but you even if you had a mind to take it out, then also the mitzvah is it still will not help. So we're seeing over here the designation of, by itself is not enough. But if you created something, you designated it for its filling, and then you used it one time, even if subsequently you had a mind to remove it, it's not going to work. We got a regular bad, but then you added something on for, to make it for the filling. If you made it for its filling, and then what's the Allah? It's also to use it la'ilam forever. Even after the bag is worn out and you no longer can use it for tefillin, still you're not able to anymore use it for something else. Why do you not let it use it for? Let me to raise use it to put your money in it. Sevkat the zayin, v'chein shar davar. So do anything else. I feel davar she's brought kedusha. He's with kedusha. Call shulam matam it tefillin kigoyin mezuzah. Anything that on the totem pole is underneath the sanctity of tefillin, even on mezuzah, would not be allowed to be put inside this tefillin bag. Because the end is we're going to see. As we soak out, based on this Allah, you should not be putting your sitter in a bag that was created just for tefillin. Do not protest if people do this to give them the regular It's as if you made it tonight. So if we see someone putting their sitter into the tefillin as we spoke out, it's not the right thing to do. But you should not yell at him, why not? Because it is, since he does it all the time, it's as if it was created for that purpose. The truth is, we are going to stop over here. We'll pick it up from the Ramah in the next year. And the Ramah is really going to tell us that a tenai is always going to help. 
And therefore, as we spoke out the case, actually, let's let's actually start that Ramak. So as not to stop in the middle of a topic. Says Ramav in Mizla Mitzchila, Bechol in Yin Shari, it's always going to help. So says Mishra Purus, if God in Yin Zayin, Bechol in Yin, Filu Asa Akisla Shem Tvilin, if you made the bag for the Tvilin, Begam Zar Bebe Kvias, and you use it all the time, still Shari will be allowed. Kimin de Hesna Beza Siya Shei Yuch Lashanat Shiitza, since you made it tonight, you want to be able to use it forever you want. The Tanai Mahan and the Shamsha Na Filu Ba'idim Bektu Shasan, the Tanai helps always, even while the Tvilin are in them. Kmosh Kasa Zim Kuf Nandal Zim Chas. Ach, let us for disgusting purpose, Lomani tonight would not help. For what did him here to Lekuch is the Dover Beretsua, Kavua, but Tvilin, if you want to wrap something up with the Retsua, he shall love Dilem Ahani, which shall be Zui Mitzvah. So, one of the basic takeaways of today's share is going to be if a single boy has a regular Tvilin bag, he should not be putting inside of it a sinner, he should not be putting inside the actual Tvilin bag a mirror, Sadaka, or anything else, but rather it should go perhaps in the plastic around it. But, if someone does put the sitter directly into the villain bag, there's what he can rely upon, because then it's as if the fact that he uses it all the time is if he made a tonight. And certainly, if the first time he does it, he puts his villain and the sitter in that is a tonight, it would be best to speak it explicitly, and that would not be a problem. I'll finish up this sit for the next year.